Hey there, this is Andrew with ADS here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and tonight also parentpreneurs. So this evening's chat was with James Oliver Jr., who had a fantastic and has a fantastic business. We Montage is in, in the middle of a relaunch right now, but in its inception, it garnered fantastic national PR from the Today Show and various other national media outlets like Good Morning America and otherwise. And so this is something you wanna hear about because James is a solopreneur. I mean, he did this literally all on his own, bootstrapping it. And as he would like to say, um, hustling and all that, you know, the more you hustle, the luck you get. This is his book, which you'll see a lot in this episode. So the chat tonight is a Facebook live chat. I'm just providing you a little background with that. And just know that this is a lot of fun and very interesting. And I hope that you get a lot out of it as well as don't forget, we've been on a series. So last week was number four of a series we did uh, for your marketing plan for 2019. And tonight I am sharing with you a link where you can get access to an ebook that we created. It's our first one. We're so excited. And it's called uh, Authentic Marketing Magic. And we made this ebook because we want people small to medium sized businesses, entrepreneurs like yourself who's just trying to make it to know the basics, what's the foundation for having authentic marketing magic for making it out here, right? So I uh, just want you to know about that. Cheers, download that, make sure you get up, um, sign up for that because we're gonna be releasing it to you later this week if you sign up now for free. It's free for now for this week, okay? All right, and so I hope you enjoy this chat with James Oliver Jr. It is um, in portrait mode because that's how Facebook treats my um, video. We were on my phone and blah, blah, blah. Chalk it up to tech. Whatever. Oh, Facebook, I wish you would fix your live stuff. But it is what it is. So with no further ado, I want you to now enjoy this live chat that we did on Facebook, bringing it here to you on YouTube, iTunes, and everywhere else you're listening to this now. And enjoy. Cheers. Speaking of gifts, yes. look at this. This is amazing. Removable photo wallpaper by We Montage. I, this is like my highlight for 2014 for your images. I have this up on my living room wall. This is totally removable wallpaper. So think of college room, dorm rooms. Think of military rooms that you can't put nails in or hallways. So you create the montage you want in your computer? You, you log online, you upload the photos, they do everything else and ship That's it to you. Great 69 idea. bucks and up for Okay. Yay! <laughs> All right. That's so awesome. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my you. God. That's hilarious. Okay. I have to share this now. Yeah. I'm so glad. On my Facebook works. page, right? Okay. Thank you for being patient with us. Um, and I'm just going to turn this volume as up as much as possible so I can hear you, James. Wonderful. All right. Cool. Awesome. Thank you to everybody who's right. here. Um, and and while you're here, tell us on a scale of one to ten how your day and week and year has been going. Scale of one to ten, how's it going? I'm jealous, James Oliver. No, this is this is a cheers to you for your second anniversary. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I need wine. Virtual toast. Virtual toast. Come on. I, what do you got? You got nothing? I, I two seconds. You guys. <laughs> You guys tell us on a scale of one to 10 how your night's going and I'll be back in seriously two seconds. And while I'm doing that, James, please share just a little bit about yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously. That's so funny. She's going to get a drink. That's awesome. So, hey, everybody. My name is James Oliver Jr. I am uh, co-founder of the world's cutest twins, Thaddeus and Zoe, um, <clears throat> founder of uh, We Montage, which is a website that lets you turn your digital images into removable photo wallpaper. And I'm also a published author of the book um, called The More You Hustle, The Luckier You Get, You Can Be a Successful Parentpreneur, which I published because, you know, a lot of people, some of you people, some of the, oh, there we go. That's what's up. Heck. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to all of you out there. Hello. 
Hey, I love how you have wine at the ready. That's what's up. It's this is my place, so of course it's going to be on the ready, sir. <laughs> wine at the ready. Wine so I was just telling them a little bit about my background, the business, the book. Uh, mm. I was going to say why I wrote the book because <laughs> you know, as a parent, you know, parenting. Oh, that's the book exactly. Yeah. The more you hustle, the luckier you get. Um, you know, parenting is rewarding, it's challenging, it's hard, quite frankly. Um, being an entrepreneur, everybody knows it's challenging, it's rewarding, but it's hard. But when you're a parent and entrepreneur, those two things are really difficult. And I believe it's my purpose in life to not just inspire entrepreneurs, but specifically to inspire parentpreneurs to be the best possible parent and entrepreneur they can be. So millions of parentpreneurs around the world to inspire them. That's kind of my purpose, I think. That's uh, super awesome. And he's such a cool dad. And I, uh, he's got the, literally on the back of his bio, it says he's the parent of the most adorable kids to two twins in the world. I'm going to read your bio real super fast. It's not long, guys, but it's super cute. So it says, and this is on the back of his book, uh, which you can get at themoreyouhustle.com. You can also follow James at trepdad, T-R-P-D-A-D. -D. Just write that down. Don't leave us just yet. Yes, um, T-R-E-P-D-A-D. -D. Yeah, yeah. He reads a little bit from this book every day, and it really is awesome. So, okay. Real fast, his body. James Oliver Jr. is co-founder of the world's cutest twins, Thaddeus and Zoe. Is it Zoe or Zoe? Mm -hmm. Zoe. Zoe. And Zoe. CEO and founder of WeMontage.com, the world's only website that lets you turn your digital images into a custom collage on removable wallpaper. James has been featured in Money Magazine, Forbes.com, and on CNBC's reality TV show, West Texas Investors Club, and as we know, also on the Today Show. James has an MBA from the Keenan Flagler Business School at UNC Chapel Hill and a BS in accounting from Morehouse College, where he graduated. From. Yeah, got, you, just, you just did um, homecoming, right? <laughs> that's this weekend. Oh, that's this weekend. Okay, have fun. Okay, so that's serious. And where he graduated. I see from Joel Hardy. What? I see a couple guys jumped in. Joel Hardy's watching. He went to Morehouse. Mike Eldieri, that's my buddy from business school. I see people watching. Hey, oh, Chuck awesome. Spanbaros, another one of my friends watching. Some of my friends are watching. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for chiming in. So again, this is his book, um, The More You Hustle, The Lucky You Can Get, which you get you can get at themoreyouhustle.com. You can also follow him at Trep Dad on Instagram. And so as my sister has said, um, Nicole Smith, who's on here, she said, hit the share button, everyone. Yes, we always have good prizes for people who share. So today I'm giving away three of James's books, The More You Hustle, The Lucky You Get, if you share this, so you could be one of the three, and everyone here is getting a gift tonight at nine o'clock. If you're still here, so Joel Hart. What up, Joel? <laughs> what up, Joel? Morehouse in the building. What? <laughs> awesome. awesome. I forgot. My sister's like my um, timekeeper, so you can't see this, but I'll see it over here. And um, okay. Nikki, keep us on time, too, because what we want to do is make sure by 9, um, we are wrapping up and telling you guys about the prize that you get just for being here. So, um, again, thanks so much for coming. James is awesome, as you've already heard. And, um, again, we're giving away these books, so be sure to share this right now. Share, hit the share button right now. And we're going to dig right in just so you can get to all this good stuff. Nathalie says, yes, Keenan Flagler. Okay. Am I saying that right, Flagler? That's right. Keenan Flagler. Flagler. That's UNC. Oh. Right. Go to Hell Duke. So, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nathalie, you're going to have to tell us your background with that. Awesome. Okay. Good. So um, question number one for you tonight. Uh, and again, yeah. before we get started talking all about how you got all this national coverage uh, with We Montage Your Business, tell us about your story in right. Montage and how that business idea came about. Yeah, yeah. so it was an interior design show on HGTV, and they went in the family's basement covering the walls with these really big, beautiful black and white photo collages. And I had these wonderful pictures that I wanted to display that way, so I literally it was like the proverbial aha moment, like clouds party, angels singing. I was like, yo, this is super dope. I literally stayed up all night trying to figure out how they did that. But there was no way to do it. So in classic entrepreneur fashion, I just like charged head first down the path of finding a way to do that. So I like cleaned out my savings, uh, the last $30,000, $35,000 of my savings, went about building uh, an alpha version of the website. Like I don't know how to code, started this business that requires this super complicated Custom software, yeah, and um, 
so yeah, that's how that, that got started. Nice. Okay. And then, so question two, honest. and again, don't forget to share this. And if you have questions, if you guys have questions for James, as this pops up, please be feel, you know, feel free to share your questions and we'll get to them, you know, when we can during the breaks. Um, question two here is about uh, an article you wrote about getting that national coverage for We Montage, uh, which is awesome. Yeah. And you said there are no silver bullets or three steps to moving your startup forward or breaking through all the clutter to get the attention of your target market, at least not that I've seen, which you're so right about. I mean, it's just a mm-hmm. silver bullet for getting PR, for, you know, getting yeah. sick and all that kind of thing. It's a, it's a, it's an art and science all together. And as you would argue, you know, a bit of hustle and luck, as your book says. Um, so yeah. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so it's always a combination of luck and hustle. Um, so in addition to getting We Montage on a Today Show three times, we also got on Good Morning America, CNET.com. Actually, it was a cold email that I wrote that got the business on CNET.com. Actually, I wrote an article. It's a chapter in the book about how a cold email got the business on CNET. And I think we got like eight or $9,000 in sales from that. Uh, just FYI, the business is in the process of relaunching. So the site, we have the site, we have the splash page up now. We're raising $100,000 in capital. We're doing a customer segment pivot to focus more on B2B, changing up the product strategy. So the business is, is dormant right now, but there's a splash page that people want to go and can just sign up uh, for when we relaunch the business once we close our round of capital. Um, I'll, so when I launched the business before, we actually went through an accelerator. I went through a startup accelerator, raised over $300,000 to launch the business. So that's the part of the story I skipped before. So apologies for that. So in terms of how we got into today's show the first time, it was just, it was luck and hustle, you know, which is, it's always that. And I will say as a founder or a CEO of your own company, like nobody can promote your business with passion and conviction like you do. Yeah, you can hire a publicist or whatever, but if you just spend a little time on it, like you can crush it with your passion and conviction and just telling your story in an incredible and authentic way, unlike anybody else can, quite honestly, in my experience. Um, but in terms of the Today Show, <clears throat> uh, NPR put something on Facebook, I think. They were doing a tweet chat series of a day in the life of a black tech entrepreneur, because quite frankly, there aren't that many of us on a relative basis, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so they sent me that note, and you know, I, I like jumped right to it. I got on Facebook, I pinged them, I hit them up on Twitter, I emailed them, I was all over it. And I sent them like some links to this, to that, the other, <laughs> you know. And they hit me back, they were like, yo, this is dope. They were like, yo, this is dope, we definitely want to have you involved. I was like, yes, right, this is cool. Um, so then what I noticed was you know, Mario Armstrong, who was the, um, the digital lifestyle correspondent for the Today Show, Mm-hmm. was curating the tweets and I was like yo like this is dope like Mario's an amazing guy just from what I could tell what I could see <clears throat> and I was like man like maybe if I reach out to him maybe he might like me I don't know <laughs> maybe he might like maybe he might like my like my business and maybe he might put it on a today show right yeah so I reached out to him I mean like I wrote in the book, you know, like 50 times probably in an article I think you're referring to. Yeah. Like 50 times. And I am not exaggerating when I probably, I reached out to him like 50 times, you know, email, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, just trying to get his attention, you know, and then get his attention again, and get his attention again. And, and finally I did, and I, I sent him one, and he just loved it. And he agreed to put it on the Today Show so we were on a Today Show one time in 2014. Excuse me, Mike. These uh, stupid pop-up alerts, sorry. Um, the first time um, on 2014, that was April. And I remember that was like, it was incredible. Uh, the Today Show consumers are just, uh, viewers are just amazing. I mean, it actually, <laughs> our service crashed for like 90 seconds. Did it really? After, yeah, after that segment aired, man. And uh, it, I spent the whole rest of the day that day getting back to people, you know, because <laughs> we put up a splash page and let people know, hey, you know, here's a discount for the inconvenience. Sorry you missed us. But anyway, I mean, we reconfigured the service so that that never happened again. Yeah, you can but, move that fast. Uh, if you can move that fast, that's good. 
yeah. So, so that was the first time. And then the second time, so I ended up building a relationship with him. He became like an advisor and a mentor and a friend. And he put us on the Today Show again yeah. um, a, year, a year later. That he was doing a segment on how to take control of all your digital photos. I see some of my friends watching Tanya Brand. You're an AKA, right? That's right. Aren't you? T- Tanya Brand. You know Tanya, right? I'm not sure. Lennon Murray's I'm watching. Gonna... Lennon Murray's watching. You know Leonard? Lennon's an alpha. Does that count? Thank you. <laughs> Keep on. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Thank you for saying hello. I, I don't know that you're on unless you say hello. I mean, your stuff is popping up yeah. nicely, but I on mine, I only yeah. see people comment. All right. Hey, Laura. So, so, so that we did it at, that at, that uh, that second time he was on with Matt Lauer, taking control of photos, and he called us a highlight for your photos for that particular year. And that was awesome. We got a ton of sales from that. Wow. And then a third, and then a third time in 2016. He was doing a back to school segment, and um, hey there, Crystal. <laughs> Juanita Smith says hi, sis. <laughs> um, hey guys. Laura Myers says hey, Andrea. Uh, so in the third time, he was doing a back to school segment, and in college room dorms, college dorm rooms, you can't put nails in the wall, so the product is perfect for that. So just from like springing the action and following up diligently and persistently, I ended up getting on the Today Show three times. Uh, also, it was on Good Morning America, which is a whole other story. But. Yeah, which is awesome. And for those of you who are just joining us, I'm on here with James Oliver. He's not alone with his wine. I won't let you be by yourself. Yes, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all got a glass of wine. Yeah. I know Lena drinking wine. <laughs> Lena, what you drinking, bro? <laughs> and so, um, so James has a business called We Montage. It got featured on the Today Show like three times and several other media, national media outlets. And so tonight we're just here chatting about how did that happened, how did that work. Um, he's got this yeah. book, The More You Hustle, The Luckier You Get. It's all about parentpreneurs and how you can do this too. So um, this you can get at themoreyouhustle.com. Please get it. You know, so this is this is so big to him. I've been around him when he sold a book, you know, like he saw a sale come through. He's like, I sold a book. He gets so happy when he <laughs> a book. So if you buy a book, <laughs> you buy a book. It's true. It's true. So do not just Hey Maya Tally. I see Maya Tally. Hey Maya. Thomas Edward Felder has a question. He says, hey, Andrew and James, I have a question. What advice do you have for marketing your business in an oversaturated market to make your brand stand out from competitors? What's your answer to that? Well, you're you're the marketing and branding expert. I'll let you answer that one. I am, but they're talking to your feet. So advice do you have for marketing (laughs) in an oversaturated market? My simple answer to that, and it's going to seem so simple, but it's so true, is differentiation, the heart of differentiation, I believe, and creating real authentic marketing magic is really understanding who you are and what makes you uniquely different from everyone else out there. And the way that you do that is you have to assess your competition. You got to do, this is the homework and the research part, you know, so you got to get out there and see what's the lay of the land. What are the other options out there? Hey, mate. Is that Maya? Maya and Jane? Okay. Maya. Oh, you said Jane. That's you saying hello. Awesome. And so um, the bottom line is, you know, take a quick lay of the land of your competition. See what's out there. What do they (coughs) sound like? What's their messaging? What's their feel? You know, what are they saying out there that they're trying to push and say they're the best at or they're unique at? Um, Once you get that feel, then you can kind of plug yourself in in your own business in and say, boom, we're different here. Yeah. This is how we can yeah. put our own voice out there, you know, in our own way. Yeah, yeah I, I would add to that. I think it's critically important to understand your why. Mm. Right? Why? It's like Simon Sinek. Uh, what's the name of that book he wrote? It's called the, uh, mm. It's got the Golden it's Circles. And, it's, it's, it's something, it's something. Something, something about starting with why. Is that what it is? Yeah. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. Starting with yeah. Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K. That's a good book. Um, but because so, I made that mistake for a long time <clears throat> when I started We Montage, I was so focused on um, I was so focused on what like cool technology, removable photo wallpaper, it looks dope, blah blah blah. Nobody cares, right? It's just like what 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 like whatever, and people want to know why. So I went back and asked the fundamental question: People, why do you display images in the first place? 
And invariably, I got one of three responses. It makes them feel loved in some ways, pictures of their loved ones. The pictures make them happy for some reason. Or it's pictures of something that inspires them for some reason. I'm like, okay, dope. That's good to know, right? So then I goes, well, why do you love your Wii Montage? Because I went and asked these questions from people who were avid consumers. Why do you love your Wii Montage? And they said, because of the large, unique, beautiful format and the big pictures, we get more love, more happiness, more inspiration from our pictures on the Wii Montage oh, than okay. from with uh, picture frames or camera sprints. Boom. More love, more happiness, more inspiration. That's my why. That's what's up. That's so I was, I was pimping that all day. I like that. Natalie, I knew Natalie would have the answer. Simon Sinek started. Because she went to Keenan Flagler. Of course she knows. Jay Day, what's what up, Jay? Kevin Goodlett, hello. Yay, I'm so happy to see all of you. It's been a minute since we've been live. I think I've, we missed last month, so, you know, thank you for joining. And so, you know, we, we got a late start, so we got to go a little past 9 o'clock. I'm just saying, what? You know, and also, I used to have a little more time here, which is good. Okay, good. And also, um, our wine here tonight is for my two years in business. Cheers to ADS, and thank you to all of you who have been a part of that. Marvelous. Success. Um, well, I call it success. What are you drinking? This is what, I, this is what I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm on the, so I posted this on my The ADS Agency page, and it's um, it's all of the uh, 19 Crimes wine. It's the one with the virtual okay, thing. It, yeah, this is better than that. Sorry. Are you welcome, Thomas? <laughs> Thomas Edward Felder says, good luck on the advice. My pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, this is better than that. Just hate to break it to you. <laughs> <laughs> my so what's your next question? Okay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> so, and, and my sister and everyone. Thanks, guys. Yay. Super awesome. Hey, thanks, Joel. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, we got to get up, Joel. I ain't seen you since I've been back in the line. Like, what's up with that? That makes no sense. I feel like Joel's my friend somewhere. Joel, are we friends somewhere? I feel like we are. Joel? Joel Hardy? We, maybe we are. He's in Atlanta? Oh, Crystal Fleshman says so she's drinking that too. Yeah. You drinking, you drinking Mina Mesa or are you drinking that other thing? <laughs> Hopefully 19 crimes. I like 19 crimes, right. but honestly, I mo I mostly like it for the for the um augmented reality. So hey Mark. Well, uh, hey, awesome from Greenville. So, Tell me where you are because right. some of you are in South Carolina and some of you are here in Atlanta and Georgia. Some are in Florida. So let us know. We got people on. Joe Hardy's in Texas. Jordy's in Texas. I thought he was in Atlanta. All right. All right. Awesome. All right. So I think you had another question for me. I thought I saw that. There's a question in the comments or a question from me? From me. From you. I, I thought. So also in your article. Oh, yeah. And you just told us that you chatted with, um, Mar well, trying to get in touch with Mario Armstrong with the Today Show. You hit him up like seriously 50 times. And you said by text, by email, by Twitter, you know, and all that. So what the world, I don't even know how you got his cell phone number, <laughs> but somehow you got- DFW, Charlotte in the house. I think he probably DM me on Twitter. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, hey, there's Julia. She's in DFW too. Awesome. Um, so yes, so, so you did all that and you hit him up repeatedly. I mean, like, what? what is the line that you draw? And, and granted, we know you have a New York uh, background here. But what is the line that you draw with, like, being politely persistent? You know, because I think a lot of people are like, oh, yeah. I don't bother them. Oh, I hit them up one time. They didn't say anything. You know, so how? Do, what's your advice yeah. you like that? Because everybody's not like you. Yeah, like, you yeah well, but, but, you know, I don't think, I think you could be persistent no matter where you're from, right, in your own unique way. That's not necessarily a New York thing, I don't think. But, um, so I think if you're not if you're not occasionally crossing the line <laughs> between persistence and annoyance, you're probably not trying hard enough. I'm just saying, like it's a fine line. <clears throat> you got to be willing to like get your toes right up to the edge of that line. I mean, you're you're in business for yourself. You know you're trying to reach out to people. And this crickets they ghosting you for days. Right, you got, but you got to follow up because your priorities are not their priorities. And you know, just be polite, be professional, be persistent, um, follow up. And you know, if you're not, if you're in business and you're not comfortable 
following up and being persistent, it's going to be hard. And, it, and, it's, and if, it's, if it makes you uncomfortable, I think that's a beautiful thing because I think that's where the growth comes from for mm -hmm. you, for us, for all of us, for me, for you, for everybody watching. And it's, I saw this saying one time, I don't remember where it came from, but it said, you know, a comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. So you got to get comfortable. The com huh? comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. I love yeah. that. And you you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Jay Davis said, very fine line, exactly. But you got to be willing to tiptoe up to it. And unfortunately, sometimes you'll cross it. Like you might catch somebody in a bad day. They might be in a bad mood. They get pissed off. Oh, well. <laughs> See Michael Greenwich, super thin. Exactly. <laughs> you got to get your toes right up to that mug. <laughs> right, Michael? Are they all too? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. See, Michael Greenwich, Jared Stewart's watching. Oh, that's my man from Wisconsin. What up, Jared? If you're an entrepreneur, I need to return my text, need to return my text messages, though. <laughs> <laughs> he just called me out in it. That wine isn't having him call you, yeah. although I don't think the wine is. Not, not at all. <laughs> no, it's definitely not the wine. <laughs> Just saying, Jared. Your pictures of your son are adorable, though. I'm enjoying those. Keep them coming. <laughs> so, so if you are an entrepreneur and you're in the room right now, give us a shout out and also leave a link to your website or something where we can find you. So, um, oh, that's great. Yeah, Please. they have a yes. who you are. So, uh, yeah, just like a sentence or two about what you do, too. It's like a quick little elevator sentence. Yeah, tell us. Oh, here's a little something from, oh, wow, this is longer. Let me see this one from Joel. Okay. It says, social media has okay. changed the game. How do you manage the interplay between your personal brand and the brand you manage where your business is concerned? Mm -hmm. Anonymity is long gone. Entrepreneurs are often the face of their work. Expound. So right, Joel. You're so right. <laughs> I'm going to let you tackle that one. <laughs> I have this conversation, I feel like, daily with people. And, it, and that's <laughs> I'm serious because people are afraid of it. And there's so many people who are, like, literally anti-social media. They hate it. They don't do it at all. They have zero presence. And I know some people, it's possible to be quite successful and still anonymous Somehow it's still possible today. It's not necessarily recommended, but I do know people who do great business and nobody knows them. They are, they have zero digital footprint and they, but I think those are outliers. That's incredible. It, it, That's it, awesome. It, I don't think it's the norm. I think those are outliers, people who are very exceptional at what they do and you should be exceptional at what you do. However, for most people, yay, Nikki, thanks for posting your stuff. Yeah, if you're an entrepreneur in space, Give yourself a plug there, charlierocks.com. These are Charlie Rocks earrings. I did that on purpose. Hey, <laughs> boom. <laughs> so, so back to Joel's That's question, um, you know, about anonymity and your mix, you know, mixing your personal brand and your business brand. Um, I do think it's quite important. I mean, you, all eyes are on, all eyes are on you, especially when you're starting a business. And people are in, especially in your case, and you can speak to this too, James, but when people are yeah. after investor dollars and all that, people are going to check you out. They want to know everything about you that they can find. And that's nothing to be afraid yeah. of. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid of that. You need to take control of it. So part of absolutely is control of the narrative. You want people to, yeah, 100%. to see, put out there what you want them to see about you. You have control over that. So in my world, you know, it is fair game. You are going to be studied. If, before you put yourself out there, do an audit of yourself. Google yourself. Clean out your Instagram, your Facebook, all that. Clean that out, whatever you don't want seen. And from then on, just know everything you put out there. I do this with my own stuff. There's nothing that I want out there. There's nothing that I have out there that can't be public, that I would be ashamed of. Right. <laughs> But that, and if people are in a different place, like that's not everyone's personality. It's hard for a lot of people to get to. Yeah, and that's a good point. You know, I was at a, it was at a Black Interior Designers Conference in Atlanta this summer, and one of the women, Nikki Chu, she's like killing like the licensing brand and interior design game. And she was just talking about like she is her brand like 24-7. She's like, her thing is beauty, interior design. She's like, I don't ever leave the house 
without having my lips glossed up the right way with the red lipstick, you know. She was like next level, but she was like every single thing you do. She said all these companies that want to partner, they're looking at your her Instagram page, and if it's not all up up to par and beautiful, they're like, uh, she's not a fit. So she's very intentional about about what she does, and she's she's extremely successful. So I I listen to what she says. Yeah, and that and you know, Joel, does that help? Does that answer your question, Joel? But if I if I may, uh, Andrea, yeah. You know, there's a, flip, there's a flip side of that, too, because you look at, like, Papa John's, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that fool was the brand. Yeah. Right? How'd that work out? <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, someone else has said that social media just exposes us. Honestly, you know, it's just exposing yeah. you. You know, um, yeah. so truth be told. And that's where you should also be quite sagacious about who you choose to advise you on your branding. Because there's a there's you can go a little bit too far, you know, with being yourself, and so um, you should be yourself. There's a there's a there's a good opportunity to differentiate in that way, and you are the brand as a small business and an entrepreneur. And at the same time, you know, there are certain things. I hate to say it, you know, it's hard to do in this day and age because the lines are getting blurred so much. But it's still true, you know workplace the the same things you wouldn't say in a workplace you should be so careful about in the real world in, in the real world and social media so that's your religion race um sexual orientation all this stuff you know that are touchy subjects you can pick and choose and have your um you know your kaepernick moment and, and you know choose a side and be vocal about it and that can bode well for your brand and it can also kill your brand. So you have to be strategic yeah. about what you do and be calculated and it better be, I mean, it's got to be a decision you're willing to, you know, go to sleep with at night. If you can go to sleep with it and potentially lose your business, you know, I know people right now who are getting super hand slapped business wise, like losing clients because they're talking about Trump. They're talking about the presidential um, you know, everything is happening in, in the news lately and they're talking about it vocally on their brand, you know, in their brand space or even on their personal platforms and that has cost them. <coughs> so you have to be so careful. Yeah, so uh, Joel had another question. I see my buddy Cedric Taylor popped in. Yeah. So Cedric is a Kappa. So Cedric, uh, Andrea is an AKA. A Andrea, a Kappa's allowed on the, on the call? Excuse me. A Kappa's allowed? Uh, hello. Huh? You're so welcome. We welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Joel had another question. I can't answer that one. You're going to have to look at that one. Look at that question. Joel, what advice do you have for the public sector leadership representatives, city managers, and other top officials about the importance of municipal marketing and brand management on social media? Ooh. Joel, are you in that space? Are you in, like, the municipal space? I see some yo's being thrown down there. Hey, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> you know, same thing for, I think public officials are, you know, the most under the spotlight today. And yet you, I mean, you, my best advice to public people in public positions, are well. that you need a great team around you and you need a well-rounded team around you. And of course, the most brilliant you can afford. Um, because those are the people giving you advice and you have to be sagacious about the advice that you take. Again, you know, same space as an entrepreneur, but even more so under the light, under the spotlight. Um, you know, this is a pastor. <coughs> my, my sister and I, um, I have two sisters on here right now. Our dad's a pastor, you know, so is he under the same kind of scrutiny if he chooses to use his platform? You know, even though he's over a small church, sure he is. Pastor, anybody in the public limelight, I mean, we all in a little bit of a way are in the limelight, but public officials in particular, I mean, I think you need a great team around you advising you and, you know, before you tweet, as we have learned from our president, <laughs> before you put a tweet out there. Hashtag Twitter. Yeah, before you tweet anything, you know, that better be approved by several people. I mean, you need a team. You've got to have people around you that you trust because there's people that are handling you know, you've got groups and teams of people, uh, you know, on certain levels handling your messaging 
and it better be on point and you got to know what's going on. They got to be, they have to be knowledgeable of all the current events and what's happened. And they need to be, um, you know, smart and wise and all that. So that's my best advice for political officials. You need a team around you that you can trust and who's quite knowledgeable. Oh, he says, hey, Sissy, I didn't see you on there. Yeah, so Juanita's on here. My sister's in the hospital right now. <coughs> Say a little pray for her. Oh, no. Juanita, yeah, she's in Florida. Oh, no. So you know, oh, no. send her a little bit of love get, her way. Get better. Yeah, yeah. And I saw a couple of, um, we have just a little bit of time. Did I get all my questions to you? Yes. Um, I wanted to quickly, quickly. If you have any other questions for James while he's on, please share them. Crystal Fleshman, thanks for shouting out your business. Um, so she's on Etsy, Third Act Original. Super cute oh, awesome. art. She's such a fun artist. I, I love her art. I bought a box of hers. They're painted boxes and they're individual. And so she makes art affordable and giftable. It's fabulous. Definitely try it. Um, and my sister, shout out hers. C. Michael Grenage. I hope I'm not uh, mispronouncing your name. Michael says, josemike.com, teaching people to turn their spending into earning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Awesome. All right. Okay. So, uh, if you just you see what Joel said, what? I think the two of you should perpetuate this as a series. <laughs> he is so cool. I'll say that he is so entertaining. We had we we randomly had a coffee meeting like we randomly met each other at the same cafe and then we had a purposeful coffee meeting and he is just so hilarious like so seriously hilarious it's funny it's really funny but also quite knowledgeable of course yeah so so any and thank you for sending the love and prayers my sister's way she appreciates that i know she does oh uh, thanks joel appreciate that yeah i hope your sister gets better soon thank you Hey, Chucky. Awesome. So, um, again, if you've not shared this, this video, this actual video that you're on and watching right now, please do because I'm giving away, APS is giving away three of James's books, which is The More You Hustle, The Luckier You Get. I hope that text is not backwards on your screen, but. It is. It's cool, though. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. Right. <laughs> And so <laughs> he gets so excited when he when people buy his book. So buy it. Oh my god! And but it's but it's really it's it's humbling. It's flattering, you know. Yeah. I wrote that thing, and it's like poured my heart and soul into it, and just so transparent about all of it. And yeah, you know, I mean, it's so weird because like I published a book, but I don't fancy myself a writer. You know, I read stuff that real writers write. I'm like, wow, that's writing. You know, I just have the ability to quickly and succinctly and concisely convey a message in a semi-interesting fashion, you know, compared to some real writers, you know what I mean? But the, it's, so I, I never, this is the first time I've ever written anything. I, I, I didn't know that people would love it. And the reviews have been just incredible. And people are inspired by, you know, entrepreneurs and non-entrepreneurs too, just regular folks with a job. Like, yo, this book has got me thinking about things a little differently. And it's just, it's it's awesome. It's just I'm thankful. Yeah, somebody takes the time to spend their money on it, and you know to read it and comment and give feedback. It just it just means a lot. I just it's just very thankful, especially since I feel like it's my purpose to inspire you know parapreneurs around the world. It just I don't know. It just touches me, so I'm thankful when, when people buy it. Yes, and and James, if you can notice on the cover, and Natalie, that link to get this book is themoreyouhustle.com. It's ridiculously affordable. I would have charged so much more for this, but it's a fun. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a it's a fun, quick read. And if you follow him on his Instagram, like don't leave us right now, but write this down at ah. Dad. You don't want me to share it? Trip Dad. Too late. Sorry, out there, Trip Dad. Um, so he reads something from this like every day. So the more you hustle dot com uh, is the link. And it's fascinating. So he tells a lot about the, more of the story of how that business We Montage came about. And if you missed that before, I mean, We Montage is like a fun, big wall of photographic. So you just like upload your most fun, favorite images. Thanks for posting that, Nikki, the more you hustle.com. Um, you just upload 
your most fun favorite images. And now with our phones, we have super high res power. So, you know, it makes it even easier. So you upload it and then you can like move around your images however you like into this big collage for your wall, yeah. like big, beautiful graphic. Yeah. And it's like, <coughs> removable. it's removable. Like a right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right so in case people miss it, so the business, we actually have it on pause right now because we're changing up the business model and raising another round of capital to really just switch things up and go back to more of our B2B roots, which is where we're seeing more success and changing up the product strategy. Just taking a pause right now, raising $100,000 and about to relaunch the business here pretty soon. So that's FYI. Big things, doing big things. So... Um, that's super awesome. And cause he's been on like the today show three times and various other national, um, PR pieces. I wanted to get him on here to talk to you, the ADS agency audience, all about how did he do that and how did that happen? And it just seems like it's just like the, the title of his book, the more you hustle, the luckier you get, but he super hustles. Like, oh my gosh, like you were tracking down poor Mario, like, like, <clears throat> man listen was that over the like, like time span of a month would you say I, I, maybe maybe more <laughs> but that's that's my dude now like he's a good friend he mario wrote the forward to my book yeah, you saw that which is awesome he wrote the, he wrote the forward so the guy you know, so a quick story about hunted down and so i know we're, i know Oh, Nicole says we're tired of time. Oh, yeah. Do I have time to tell a quick story about the Good Morning America, or do we got to hop? Yeah, real fast. Okay. It's a, it's a long story. I'll make it. So, Good Morning America. <clears throat> so, like, this never happens. Normally, something like that, you're reaching out to people, trying to pester producers to get on the shows. But Good Morning – so, the the Good Housekeeping Lifestyle Magazine Lifestyle Editor – found we montage online she was looking for creative original ways to display photos to go on air the after day after labor day michael strahan's first day on um on uh uh good morning america and so sight unseen she hadn't even seen the product she reaches out to me like i was just coming back from florida i was at this uh, hsn home shopping network yeah. entrepreneur event Anyway, I was actually sick as a dog. I had no sleep. My back was hurting. I had to drive from Chicago back up to Wisconsin. I was sleepy, dope, hopped up on NyQuil, feeling like crap, right? Um, but she emails me, and I'm laid up on the couch, like, do dosed up on NyQuil, like, <sighs> right? and I'm like, holy crap, right? She's like, it was like Wednesday or Thursday. She's like, yo, can you give me these images in time for a Tuesday appearance on Good Morning America? I'm like, uh, hell yeah, right? And she's like, oh, we want the images to come from Instagram, from Michael Strahan and other hosts' Instagram page. And I'm like, seriously? Instagram compresses image resolutions when they put them on their website. Yeah. Right? So we're talking about a big thing that we print these things on, and we got to use low, lower resolution images. You and oh, by the way, I got to... I got to figure out. So this is the hustle piece we're talking about, right? Uh -huh. Crystal Fleshman, I'm not from Wisconsin. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I lived in Wisconsin for seven years. I went to Morehouse. I lived in Atlanta for 12 years. I just moved back uh, a year ago. Um, Tommy response is so key. Great mind. Exactly. So, 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 you know, she's like, get the pictures from Instagram. These are their websites. So I go on Instagram on my laptop. And so I'm using, like, developer tools on the website. You right-click, inspect element. This is all tech talk right here, right? And then you go in there, and you can find the actual link for the original picture wow. right? that you can then right-click and download and then get the resolution. So I'm, like, doing all this laid up in the bed, right? And then, then, I, then I add it to my website. I make some things, send it to her. She's like, oh, this looks dope. Hey, Kim, how are you? Um, um and we got it done. Like, we got the thing printed. We got it shipped. You know, but, the, but what's dope about that, sight unseen, which is unheard of, she wanted the product on Good Morning America. But the reason that happened is because when she went to the website, she saw all those credibility markers, right? You know, the Today Show video, Huffington Post, Wall Street Journal, all that. So she felt extremely comfortable. So, you know, in the book, I talk about, you, you know, you know, you got this luck and hustle, but hustle is greater than luck, right? Hard work is more important than luck because with all the hard work, you know, because I did all the hard work on the front end, she went to the website, she felt comfortable, 
Right. You know, because then all the media is giving you credibility. So it's like, oh, okay, they signed off on it, then I feel better. Exactly. 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 So that was so that was dope. We know we got some nice sales from that, and it was Michael Strahan's first day. It was great. So awesome, awesome. So. Thank you so much for joining us again. Share this. If you share this by Friday at midnight, we're going to be announcing the winners of doing three slides. You, you, this- you see me? <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to share this. If you win this, you can give it to somebody else. So buy the book. At- yeah, it is a really great, it's a great gift as well. Yeah, it really is, especially for parents. The more you hustle.com. Okay. The more you hustle.com. And because now it's nine o'clock, this is my little gift to you on my Facebook page right now, the ADS agency in honor of our two year mark, you know, like it's like, yay, but it's also like still pray for us. Cause we were in the hustle too still. So, um, I have an ebook that's out. Yay, I'm so happy about this. It's called authentic marketing magic. And so if you go, um, to my Facebook page, the ADS Agency. You're on our video right now. Uh, and follow that link. You can put your name in the hat to receive this ebook by the end of this week. Um, and that is our gift to you. That's for free. It is free only this week. So you must sign up today, this week. Okay. So that's on the ADS Agency Facebook page. It's free and it's about authentic marketing magic. So for us, especially for those of you who are in the entrepreneur space and you're trying to figure out this world. Yeah. A lot of you have these questions about how do you get out there and be real, but also like not kill your business at the same time. It all starts with the basics, the foundation and figuring that out. And you all can do this. And so this ebook is a gift to you to help you do this. All right. So it's my first one. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> and that's it that's all we've got guys anything else anybody got anything else going once and twice and all that speak now and roll your piece <laughs> I hope you enjoyed James here please give him a round of applause and show him some love uh, for coming on uh, thank you so much I really appreciate it I super appreciate you being on here and dealing with our technology you know this is our first time doing this I don't know why Samsung makes me go vertical all the time but it is what it is so. <laughs> glad I got on. I'm glad every single one of you got on. And yes, wine is yummy. We're wine friendly here. So. Indeed. Crystal, I think you're super awesome. These are my sister's earrings, Charlie Rock's last plug. And good night, people. Thank you so much. See you, James. Bye.